This is the Al Sensei English Podcast. English 2.0 podcast. Thank you for watching today. Uh, we've got some great stuff today. I'm going to talk about uh, five ways you can practice speaking on your own. So if you don't have a partner, that'll come up a little bit later. But first of all, I've got a few announcements uh, as usual. I'm here at our beautiful bar, uh, Departure Scene in Yotsuya San Chome. Uh, we've changed the name, so it's no longer Jay's Scene, but now Departure Scene. And uh, we'd love to have you come out and um, so you can enjoy uh, Friday nights with us. We have a Friday night happy hour social. Uh, we start at usually 8, 8 p.m., sometimes 7. It depends on the day. But uh, please come and join us. And we go until 11 or 12 at night. And it's a lot of fun. Free to get in. Let me repeat that. Free to get in. Of course, drinks uh, are... 500 yen, very reasonable price. You, get, uh, you can see the drinks we've got back here. Beer, wine, uh, cocktails, so 500 yen for drinks. Uh, so come out and practice. We've got, uh, last night we had a nice uh, happy hour. We had people from the United States, uh, Canada, Australia, um, and sometimes we have people from England, New Zealand, uh, and Pakistan, I mean, just countries uh, all over the world. So come out, meet people. It's a great chance to network, and you're going to really enjoy it if you do. And it's free. Did I mention that? Friday night, Yotsuya San Chome. It's very easy. From the station, it's about a five minute walk. So for directions, please contact me. I'll set you up, and it'll be a great time. All right, so thanks, and we look forward to seeing you. All right, to start things off today, uh, let's go to Twitter for our first question. And it comes from at power101607. And uh, they want to know, uh, Al, how do you say otsukaresama deshita in English? Okay, well, this is a very, very common question, of course. And uh, the reason that you know, uh, students keep asking this question uh, is because actually there's no real uh, clean uh, direct translation. Uh, the reason for that is it's pretty much a cultural uh, expression in Japanese and so you really have to think more not so, so much of the words uh, and more about uh, the situation. So how do you use this is maybe more important than how do you say this? And so, when do you use this uh, phrase? So, I would say in, in Japan, it's mostly used um, in, at the office, a very typical situation, uh, when you're leaving the office for the day to go home or just leave the office. And so, you'll say, and then you will leave. So I would like to kind of project the same situation in a Western, or in this case, American uh, situation, and think, so what do they say in the same situation? So in this case, when they leave the office. Uh, if it were me, I would say something like, all right, well, uh, have a good day. See you tomorrow. Something like that, or have a nice evening. I'll see you next week. That, that's what I would naturally say in that situation. So that, that's uh, that particular situation. Now I know you can use otsukare samareshita in many different situations. So unfortunately, we don't have the same culture, so we don't have a similar you know, clean phrase for all situations. You'll just have to uh, you know, think of these different situations and just observe what native people, native speakers, are saying in those situations. To me, that's the best way to figure out this question. So give that a try. 
if you have other uh, situations you want to ask about, please feel free to send them to me. Great question, thank you. All right, now I'd like to go to a video that I made uh, bef that I made before, um, actually last year. Uh, but it's called Five Ways to Practice Speaking on Your Own. So of course, you know, the best way to practice speaking is with a partner or with someone that can have a conversation with you. But I know it's not always the case. So how can you practice speaking? Because we still want to get that output practice. How can we do that if we're just by ourselves? So here are five ways that you can practice speaking. And let's take a look. Uh, today we'll cover the top five ways to practice speaking on your own. The first suggestion is read dialogues out loud. Now if you have an uh, English textbook or any kind of uh, book with English dialogues in it and you trust that source, just practice reading those dialogues out loud. The reason I suggest dialogues is because usually they're more natural and spoke written uh, for speaking practice. So use those dialogues in your textbooks, read those out loud. Second suggestion is to shadow native speech. Now maybe some of you have heard of the technique of shadowing, which is basically uh, speaking along with native speech, whether it's on a CD or a podcast or uh, any other native source. So if you have a text CD or use a podcast or something uh, that you would like to use, that you trust, uh, practice shadowing with that. Speak along with it. Third suggestion is to practice giving a one minute presentation on any topic. Choose a topic, it could be random, uh, but do it every day. And if you have a voice recorder, record yourself with doing that one minute presentation. And if you have a video, like an iPhone or any kind of video camera, film yourself, record yourself doing that. One minute presentation every day, new topic every day, practice that. The fourth suggestion is to drill tough patterns. What I mean by that is, if you, for example, if you have a pattern, if you have a sentence, for example, I'm looking forward to meeting you this weekend. The pattern would be, I'm looking forward to ING. Now, for some reason, if you can't speak that very smoothly, practice with different examples. For example, I'm looking forward to playing golf with you this weekend. I'm looking forward to eating dinner with you this weekend. I'm looking forward to playing golf with you this weekend. Just change the, change the uh, sentence and keep the same pattern and drill that, practice it again and again. Drill tough patterns for you. The fifth suggestion to practice your speaking is use a CD or MP3 speaking course to help you. Uh, one example of that is uh, Pimsleur's course, which I'm using to study Thai. That kind of course will guide you uh, as you practice speaking. You will listen and kind of repeat after you hear that. So use a course. Rosetta Stone is another example. And there are plenty of others out there. But use a course that helps you practice speaking while listening. All right, so give those five things a try. Um, you don't have to do all five. Choose one or two that you can do and uh, please let me know uh, how you are doing and if you have any other questions about it. Alright, today we've got a new uh, segment and we'll call it the pronunciation point. And so today's pronunciation point, uh, we're going to practice walk and work. Alright, let's talk about the difference between walk and work. Walk work. Okay, I know it's a bit challenging to uh, tell the difference, but the first thing is to be able to hear the difference, so please listen first to me. Okay. Walk. Aruku. Walk. Okay, now let's try work. Shikoto. Work. Okay. So, hopefully you can hear that difference. One more time. Walk. Work. Okay? That's the first thing. If you can hear that difference, you're ready to move on now to start practicing it and producing it yourself. And you can do that uh, with just a few simple tips that I'll give you right now today. The first word we'll practice is walk. Okay? Aruku. 
Now, walk is actually a little bit simpler, and uh, the key is this. Okay? When you say walk, your mouth should open up okay? pretty wide like this. Now, to make the, the W sound, we'll start with a kind of O-shaped okay? mouth, and then you want to just open it up like this. Walk. Okay? Walk. Okay, so the, this image okay, of your mouth coming oh, wide open, that's what I want you to have, is that image. Okay? Walk. Walk. Okay, so let's practice. Walk. Walk. Okay, nice job. Now let's move on to work. Shigoto. Alright, now maybe a little bit more challenging sound, uh, but actually you can do it with a little bit of practice. So the first thing to know about work is your mouth does not come so far open, but stays a little bit more tight and compact. Okay, watch. Work. Work. Okay, so I hope you can see the difference in my mouth shape. Now, let's first start with the W sound. Okay, we'll start with the same O shape, mouth. Okay. Were. Okay, let's practice the first part. Were. Now, the key to the er sound, okay, that's really the key of this word, is the er sound. Now, I just want you to follow this little simple tip. To make er, okay, again, your, your lips are going to be very tight, especially the bottom lip here. Okay, in fact, it's going to kind of stick out a little bit like this. Okay, okay like this. And it's going to be very tight, and you're going to put a lot of pressure there. Right, the next thing to do, and this is really the secret here, is with your tongue, okay, you want to press it up on the roof of your mouth, the top of your mouth, and kind of lock it between your two teeth, upper teeth, okay? like this. Okay? Now, you don't, you don't have to show people like I just showed you, but that's what's happening in your mouth. Okay, okay so one more time, bottom lip out, pressure, to uh, tongue on the top, lock it. Okay, and sound like this. Er. Er. Okay. Now let's combine it together with the add the K now. Work. Work. Okay. So just practice that. I know it, it might feel new to you. You're using a lot of new muscles and a lot of new shapes and you know positions in your mouth and that's good because it's just like you know it's just like this working a muscle okay you're just working your mouth muscle not your arm muscle maybe you're going to the gym for this okay but today we're practicing this muscle and that's very important same same level of importance so please keep practicing this sound okay one more time work okay. work okay so let's put that together now so let's go again one more time please listen and repeat Walk. Walk. Work. Work. I like to walk, but I don't like to work. One more time. I like to walk, but I don't like to work. Great job. So keep practicing these sounds. Walk. Work. And that's the key, is you want to develop this mouth muscle. Keep practicing every day, and you will be able to do it very clearly. First, hear the difference, and then start producing the difference. And when you say walk and work, try to match me or another native speaker. And once you can do that, once you can master especially the er sound, work, your pronunciation will be at a very high level. So keep practicing. And uh, keep going. Let me know your progress. If you have any other questions, please feel free to send them to me, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. That'll just about do it for today. Thank you for watching. And so again, please join us at Departure Scene here in Yotsuya San Chome. It's on the Marano Chi Line every Friday night. 
for free happy hour social. We'd love to meet you. We'd love to see you if you're in the Tokyo area. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.